Hi everyone, in this quick video I want to show you how to create turntable animations similar to the ones I've been using in my recent Chocofur videos. If you don't know a lot about animation you might want to check out the video popping up on the screen right now where I explain all of the animation basics in Blender. So there are multiple ways for creating turntable animations. Uh, the one I prefer is simply by adding an empty object. So I'm preparing a workspace here and I will open a graph editor. Now I'm gonna press Shift A, select empty and the plane axis empty object. This is something that will be added to the scene and this is the object we are gonna animate. So let me now extend this timeline here, switch to the item settings here so we know what's happening. Now I'm gonna press the I key at the rotation keyframe at the zero rotation. Now let me move to the frame 150. Uh, since I want to have five second animation loop with 60 FPS, that means I'm gonna need 300 frames. So frame 150 is exactly the half of the animation. I'm gonna now press R and Z and rotate my empty object by 180 degrees. So I'm just typing 180 and now pressing the I key again and adding another keyframe for rotation. So you can see it's visible here in the graph as well. Let me now move this frame to the end. Let me press R, Z and 180 again. So now you can see we have the full 360 degree rotation. I'm gonna press I and add one more rotation keyframe. Now I can delete this middle keyframe. You might wonder, well, why didn't you just move to the end of the animation and added 360 degree frame here. Well, I don't know, sometimes for some reason this doesn't seem to work for me. So I'm just adding this extra keyframe in the middle and then deleting it. Um, now within the graph editor, I'm selecting everything and pressing the V key, switching to the vector look of the graph, which will give us this continuous motion of the empty object. So what you have to do right now is attaching a camera to the empty object so it follows the rotation. I'm gonna select the camera then hold shift and select the empty object which is now an active object. It's highlighted to the brighter orange color than the camera. I'm gonna press ctrl P and set parent to object with the transformation. So right now you can see this little arrow appearing. If I press zero on my numpad and move the timeline here, you can see the camera is now rotating 360 degrees. And that's basically it as for the third table motion itself. But what I also like having in my animations is keeping the illumination stable per frame. So I will just select all, those, the, all of those three lamps and also parent them to the empty object. Gonna press Ctrl P, select object with transformation. And when I move back to the camera, let's disable those overlays. You can now see the lights stay the same from the camera perspective, because if we move out, you can see we have this funny situation happening. Um, so yeah, that would be it on this topic from me. If you liked the video and enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to the channel and you can also support us by purchasing some of the Choco4 Blender only assets from our store. So again, thank you guys and girls for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.